In the last video, we talked about a formula that I asked you to memorize. It was for a difference of squares. Do you remember what that formula is? Why don't you write it down here? If we're subtracting squares, we can factor it a plus b times a minus b. So today we want to look at a sum or difference of cubes. So not squares, a sum or difference of cubes. So that means we're going to be looking at a cubed plus b cubed. Now notice that this is not a plus b all cubed. That's something different. That's a com completely different formula we'd be looking at. a cubed plus b cubed and a cubed minus b cubed. Now you should see that the formulas are almost the same. Each formula has one minus sign. They're just in different places. I usually remember that if it's a difference of cubes, a cubed minus b cubed, the negative sign comes right away. When it's a sum of cubes, then the negative sign is inside that trinomial. Now, one thing to point out is that this is a prime polynomial. If this could be factored, the formula would tell us how. Since this is where the formula stops, we can't factor that trinomial any further. So just like when we were looking at a difference of cubes, I would suggest writing the question in this form, first of all, so that we can find A and B. So if we look at question one, we have X in brackets cubed, plus five in brackets cubed. Now we see A is equal to X and B is equal to five. And we're going to use that formula for a sum of cubes. So the formula starts with A plus B, X plus five, A squared, well, that's going to be X squared. Here's our minus sign in the formula. A times B, that's five X plus b squared. In this case, b squared is 25. Let's try this difference of cubes together. So this time we're subtracting. So what's being cubed in the first place? Two cubed gives me eight. What about m? Remember when we're raising a power to a power, we multiply the exponents. So that's going to be an m squared. And three cubed will give me 27. Now we see that a is two m squared and b is three, not negative three, just the three, whatever is inside that bracket being cubed. So our formula for a difference of cubes starts with a minus b. So two m squared minus three. And then a squared. So all of that in the brackets squared. That's going to be 4m to the power of 4. We've already used our minus sign, so everything else is a plus here. a times b, 6m squared, plus b squared. There it is in factored form. You're going to need to memorize these formulas. Make sure you know them so that for your test, for your final exam, you can just write them down on your scrap paper when you're getting started. Speaking of tests, check your calendar, check the schedule. You should have a test coming up fairly soon. So I've put two questions here for you to try. Um, pay attention in the question three, there's a greatest common factor. Pause your video. Give these a try. Now we're looking at this difference of cubes here. So what's being cubed in each case? Well, first of all, a squared and here five, but don't forget that greatest common factor. Multiplying our difference of cubes. 
That extra set of brackets is necessary there. So if we look inside those brackets at that difference of cubes, we first of all have a minus b times a squared, that's going to be a to the power of four, plus a times b, five times a squared, plus b squared. And of course, we keep our greatest common factor in front. Here, no greatest common factor, but we have a sum of cubes. The one I hope was easy, but what about m? Did you put an m cubed there? Because three times three gives you the nine, n to the power of five, because five times three gives us 15. So this is a sum, we start with a plus b, a, plus b, a squared, that's going to be m to the six, n to the 10. Here's the minus sign for that formula, m a times b, m cubed, n to the power of five, plus b squared, plus one. So finally, we have this set of questions for you to do. I would like you to try to use a different strategy for each question. Now, there's no absolute right or wrong answer, but I hope you can see that this one with four terms, you're going to use factoring by grouping. Can you decide ahead of time which one might be a difference of squares? Which one might be a sum or difference of cubes? The solutions for these will be posted on your class Moodle page. So use these as a test review, as a final exam review, ensuring that you know when to use the different strategies we've been talking about this week.